The patient is a 26-year-old uh, woman with no past medical history, and she's volunteering. She arrived in Guinea in December 2023. She was taking doxycycline for malaria prophylaxis. She said she never missed any doses. Now, October 2024, she develops fever, a dry cough. Um, they do some, some lab work. The next day, she comes in didn't sleep well, fever up to 104, the cough is continuing, he ends up in the ER with this acute febrile illness of unclear etiology. You know, when they see her, she doesn't have a fever at that time, blood pressure's okay, heart rate's in the 90s, or oxygen saturation's in the high 90s. So normal, normal exam, head to toe. They say we're not sure exactly what's going on. Um, and they give her augmentin and coartan, right? Um, so they get they get some blood work back. Uh, she's got an elevated white blood cell count. Um, there's no anemia. Platelets are normal. Um, the, there are some eosinophils they haven't cleared. Um, otherwise, blood work not too exciting. But they do a stool parasite exam, and they see some sort of eggs. The malaria smear is negative. The chest x-ray shows the, the bilateral infiltrates. So based upon seeing these eggs in the stool, they give her a medication. She ends up vomiting about 30 minutes after that. They wait a number of hours, five hours later, they give her another dose of medication, she vomits again, and then they, they send her out. Um, the following day, she comes back, her temperature <laughs> goes up to 104 again. Now she's got watery diarrhea, she feels nauseated. She actually is now not vomiting. Um, so they decide, let's give you another dose of that medication from, from yesterday. We'll give you some ibuprofen. We'll give you some IV um, antibiotics. She gets something called ceftriaxone. Uh, during the day, she continues to have low-grade fevers. She develops abdominal pain. That night, she again has a fever to 104. They keep doing the malaria test. They keep being negative. They've done blood cultures. They're negative. She continues to have this mild elevation of white blood cell count and some of these like AST, ALT, so serum amino trans Transferases are slightly elevated. Um, <clears throat> they finally decide, you know, we're gonna we're gonna send this woman to a different hospital. They say, you know what? <laughs> We're not going to give you that other medicine. We're going to give you something else. They give her the first dose, and within 24 hours, symptoms resolve, <laughs> and she feels all better. My gosh! So, what's the diagnosis, and what what were they? What was going on with management here? If you want to try guessing. Twip at microbe.tv. Put K Twip two five three case in the uh, email subject line. <laughs> <laughs>